All right, so you might have seen this around, the spotted lanternfly. They may look fascinating. Some would even say pretty if you like bugs. They have the spots, the black and white reddish markings, but experts are issuing some serious warnings about this invasive species. They're saying show no mercy. Fox 5, Stephanie Ramirez, live at Barrel Oak Winery in Fauquier County. And Steph, uh, what a great way to, uh, to do a story to get yourself over to a winery today. Angie, I'm just trying to save the wine here, okay? So today I am a hero. No, I'm just kidding. But look, more seriously, our favorite bug expert over at the University of Maryland says that this invader, the spotted lanternfly, it's not dangerous to humans, but in the state of Pennsylvania, it has already taken out at least two vineyards, and it is definitely growing in our greater D.C. area as well. Virginia has an infestation now in Frederick County and in Winchester. We're in Fauquier County, where Brian Roeder, the owner of this beautiful location here, Barrel Oak Winery, right off of Route 66. Well, Roeder says that that Winchester infestation is just over the hill, maybe 25 miles away from here. So now everyone's on alert for in case they spot one here. Those farmers were used to these pests coming in. This one's particularly malicious, unfortunately, and a real cause for concern. Um, it spreads a fungus as it attacks the vines. It also attacks hops, and we do also grow them to make beer here on site. So there is a risk that we could actually have vine death and hop death, which is really when it gets expensive. Now, the good news for them is they're already in harvest season, which is crushing the grapes to make the wine, but the insect could still hit them at the end of this year's harvest or next year. You also heard Roeder say there that the insect spreads a fungus. Well, UMD professor Michael Raup told me that the lanternflies, basically uh, the spotted lanternflies, they basically suck the nutrients from plants and excrete a sugary liquid called honeydew that falls on everything below, and then the liquid grows a fungus that disfigures your crop. And by the way, if you're a homeowner and there is an infestation nearby, well, bees and wasps are also attracted to that sugary liquid. And we've also been told that these insects are also attracted to other crops like soybean, corn, also apples, peaches. So there are a lot of farmers that could be hit here. Angie? Yeah, I mean, the problem could eventually be very uh, widespread. If I have my wineries right, I think uh, Barrel Oak has like a really nice chocolate wine out there. So we don't want to mess with that. But Steph, uh, how did it get here and what do you do if you see one? Well, first, the experts are saying, kill it. You said no mercy. And yeah, that's exactly what they're saying. And then they want you to report it. Now, in Virginia, they say if you're outside of Winchester to make sure you're reported. And in Maryland at the agriculture website there, they do have a portal for you to do so. In terms of how it got here, we're our, our expert bug professor there at the University of Maryland. He says that the eggs are kind of hard to see and that experts believe that the eggs came over on a shipping container from China back in 2014. This had masonry products in it and went to Berks County, Pennsylvania, and that this invasive species has just been spreading since. Angie, it's amazing back to you. How, how they can track it. Um, and still so many years later, it's a problem and a threat. So, Steph, thanks for that.